Okay, so the next uh, codality exercise in lesson four, counting elements, is perm check. Uh, this is a painless exercise, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So I'm just going to create a class before I start called perm check. Generate a main method. And I'll just get rid of the last one. And in this class, I'm just going to create a new poem check and call PC solution when I've got it. But let's take a look at the exercise. So let's go. I've got 120 minutes. Painless task should be pretty straightforward. So a non-empty array A consisting of n integers is given. A permutation is a sequence containing each element from 1 to n once and only once. For example, array A 4132 is a permutation but array A such that 413 is not a permutation because value 2 is missing. The goal is to check whether array A is a permutation. Write a function that given array A returns 1 if the array is a permutation and zero if it's not. For example, 4132 returns one, 413 returns zero. So that's quite sort of straightforward. This this array has one, two, three, four. This has one, three, four. So it's, I think um, I'm gonna tackle this with, similar to what I did in the last one. I'm going to make a hash set. If I'm given an array, the length of the array, I'm going to make another hash set, that length, and put every number from 1 to the length of the array in it. And then I'll loop through this array, removing the numbers, but because it needs to be once and only once, I'll check if the hash set contains a number. And if it doesn't contain the number, I can immediately return false. If it does contain it, I'll remove it. And then at the end, if my hash set is empty, I'll return true or one. And if it's not, I'll return zero. I'll just check the if that's going to be efficient with these constraints. N is an integer in the range of one to one hundred thousand. So if we're dealing with an array of a hundred thousand, I think we can deal with a hash set of a similar size. And each element in the array is an integer within the range of one and one billion. But that's a bit irrelevant because um, for it to be a permutation the maximum value that matters is 100,000. If we see a number higher than the length of the array we can immediately return false as well because it's a permutation if it contains every number from 1 to the length of the array. So let's have a look at that. And the test data for this one is going to be 4132 system out print now. 4132. So I'm going to create a hash set. Nums equals new hash set. That's going to be a hash set of integers. And in that, we're going to put the values 1 to a length. Nums add i. 
So in this case, this hash set's going to be one, two, three, four. The hash set's going to be efficient. We're not going to have to search through when we're deleting numbers or, or checking if numbers are there. So now I'm going to loop through the array. Int a in a. If nums contains a if nums doesn't contain a then it's not a permutation because every value is going to be in the list once and only once so if it's not a permutation we return zero if it is in the array nums remove a And at the end of it, if nums is empty, if nums is empty at the end of it, that's if nums is empty, return one, else return zero. I think that's it. I think that this is uh, really simple. So we should return one on this permutation. Um, I've just system out printed the int object into a object. Um, so one that is a permutation for one two that's not a permutation uh, for one three that's not one two three is three two one is Three two zero four isn't. I'm reasonably confident about this. I think I can. Oh, as soon as we, if we get a value which is higher than the list, for example, three twenty. As soon as we see the twenty, it's going to exit here anyway. So I think it's pretty um, efficient. Any corner cases to think about? n there's at least one value in n let's just check what happens if we give it just one value two is not so that should be zero and one is so that should be one okay i'm happy with that i'm going to submit that i think this is a pretty easy task it may be um slightly easier because the last task uh, the the one where I had to find the first missing integer in a sequence involved me thinking about setting up this list and I've kind of done a very similar thing in this task so I think this task has been made easier by the fact that I did the last task so let's run the tests and I'm quite confident that I can submit this. And there we've got a score of 100%. It took nine minutes to do. And here's the results. Uh, the extreme cases, everything's run okay. So that's the um, perm check task in Codility. Thanks for watching.